Located at the northwest extremity of the continental United States, most of Alaska falls inside the Arctic Circle. And with the least amount of population density in the entire country, most of Alaska's north is icy and uninhabited, with places still shrouded in mystery. To most people, it looks otherworldly and alien, barren and lifeless. But those thick sheets of glacial ice contain some of the most intriguing mysteries of our planet. And recently, scientists found something very interesting that might have a big consequence for our planet. Some of those layers of ice were formed during the last ice age, almost three million years ago. And since ice can trap objects and preserve them for centuries, just imagine what could be discovered beneath those layers. There are thousands of time capsules buried under Alaska's ice waiting to be discovered. One such discovery that has recently raised interest among the general populace is the discovery of microbial life, thousands of years old, thriving under the permafrost, which is a technical term that describes layers of ice that remains frozen for years either over ground or water. In 2019, a team of researchers from the University of Michigan found something strange under ice in Burrow, which is the northernmost city in Alaska. After digging more than 12 feet, they found a rich community of microbes living in these ancient cryopegs. These cryopegs are pockets of unfrozen seawater brines, where freezing is prevented due to the high salinity and the presence of dissolved solids in the surrounding seawater. Trapped under the permafrost for up to 50,000 years, these marine bacteria have not only managed to survive, but also flourish in an isolated, salty and cold environment. The saline content in some of these pockets are over 14%, which is enough to kill any kind of microbes in our modern-day canned goods. However, these microbes seem to survive in these extremely harsh conditions. This find has got the scientific community very excited about finding life on other extreme places like Mars or Saturn's icy moon Titan, which has a deep ocean beneath its icy shell that might resemble the deep sea on Earth where life can persist continually. However, this discovery in Alaska has also worried a lot of scientists. The fear is that as climate change slowly melts the Alaskan permafrost soils that have been frozen for thousands of years, they may release ancient viruses and bacteria that, having lain dormant for millennia, can suddenly spring into life and spread, causing havoc. Over the centuries, humans have existed side by side with bacteria and viruses, and we've evolved to resist them. However, what would happen if we were to suddenly be exposed to deadly bacteria and viruses that have been absent for thousands of years, or that we've never met before? Especially in the current condition where the entire planet is realizing the amount of havoc a new strain of virus can cause to our entire population, this fright is quite legitimate. In fact, there is previous evidence to support this theory. In August 2016, in a remote corner of a Siberian tundra called the Yamal Peninsula in the Arctic Circle, a 12-year-old boy died, and at least 20 people were hospitalized after being infected by anthrax. It was later found out that over 75 years ago, a reindeer infected with anthrax died, and its frozen carcass became trapped under a layer of permafrost. There it stayed until a heat wave in the summer of 2016, when the permafrost thawed. This exposed the reindeer corpse and released infectious anthrax into nearby water and soil, and then into the food supply. More than 2,000 reindeer grazing nearby became infected, which then led to the small number of human cases. This fear is not just limited to ancient viruses. The melting Alaskan permafrost is reported to be filled with mercury as well, which can be deadly, not just to humans, but also plants and animals. Recent research published in the Geophysical Research Letters reports that the deposits of mercury under Alaska's ice could amount to the biggest found anywhere in the world. The study took samples from 13 different places in Alaska over a period of eight years and found that there might be over 15 million gallons of mercury up there. That's roughly 10 times the amount of all human-caused mercury emissions over the last 30 years. With climate change escalating the melting of these permafrost layers, there's a real worry that this deposit of mercury could seep into the waterways of Alaska, where it could work its way up the food chain from microorganisms all the way to humans. 
Mercury is known to have dangerous and lasting neurological effects. Furthermore, it's also possible that a small amount of the mercury could get into the atmosphere from the melting ice, which would allow it to spread beyond Alaska as well. That's why ongoing research efforts to discover the secrets hidden under the ice of Alaska is so important. However, it's not all doom and gloom down there. Digging under the melted permafrost of Alaska has also thrown up some important genealogical and archaeological discoveries in recent years. In 2013, a team of archaeologists digging in the Upward Sun River archaeological site in the Tanana River Valley found an ancient burial bit containing the remains of a six-week-old girl. Her body was buried on a bed of antler points and red ochre, and she lay undisturbed for 11,500 years. Upon retrieving the child's genome from her remains, it was discovered that it was the second oldest human genome ever to be found in North America. This has finally shed some light on the question of how and from where did the first people arrive in the Western Hemisphere? According to the study published in the scientific journal Nature, the child belonged to an unknown human lineage that split off from other Native Americans just after they arrived in North America. As she is part of the earliest branch of Americans known to scientists and shares genetic markers similar to the distant ancestors of Native Americans and North Eurasians, he strongly supports the idea that the Americans were settled by migrants that crossed into the present-day Alaska through the land bridge that connected it to Northeast Russia during the last ice age. This discovery also proved the theory of human migration into the Americas called the Beringian Standstill Model. This model predicted that the ancestors of Native Americans did not rush across the Bering Strait into Alaska and dispersed immediately across the Americas. Instead, they lingered in an area called Beringia, which is modern-day West and Central Alaska, for thousands of years, their genes acquiring increasingly distinctive variations over that time. Those variations then split into multiple branches of Native Americans, out of which some died out, and some went on to populate the rest of North America. Other than archaeological findings, paleontologists have also had discoveries of significant interest under the Alaskan permafrost. In 2011, the most complete fossil of a Thalatosaurus species, the Gunacadia jossiae, was found in southeast Alaska. Thalatosaurus were marine reptiles that lived more than 200 million years ago during the mid to late Triassic period, where their distant relatives, dinosaurs, were first emerging. They grew up to lengths of up to three to four meters and lived in equatorial oceans worldwide until they died out near the end of the Triassic period. They're credited to be the first reptiles that made the successful transition from walking on land to slithering back into the ocean. Thus, this find holds a huge significance in understanding the reasons behind how a group of land-dwelling reptiles readapt to life in the ocean. Alaska's layers of ice is still one of the best places to study the Earth's permafrost, and it's one of those places which provides scientists with the ability to get up close and personal with one of the weirder creations of Earth's ice age. For example, the Fox Tunnel, also known as the Krell Permafrost Research Tunnel in central Alaska, is one of only two such tunnels in the world, which allows visitors to walk around inside the frozen Earth. However, as climate change warms soil temperatures across Alaska, the melting of its permafrost is underway. Scientists predict that in just one lifetime, most of Alaska's near-surface permafrost will fall apart. However, ironically, the melting of permafrost is also causing a negative loop, which is making Arctic climate change far worse. Melting permafrost releases as much as 300 to 600 million metric tons of planet-warming carbon into the atmosphere annually, which in turn accelerates the melting process. In the meantime, Alaska still probably contains some of the most protected and coldest permafrost in the area. This has increased the effort by the scientific community to conduct more and more permafrost research, and we're sure that in the coming years, Alaska's ice will reveal even more surprising finds, and we'll be there to cover it when it does. That's all we have for today. Let us know in the comments section if you enjoyed this video, so we know if you'd like us to cover similar topics in the future. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss a video from us. Thanks for watching.